Okay, so the question which is asked that in case of spinal cord injury, if the injury is above the level of T6, why there is a hypotension and bradycardia? Why it is not hypotension or tachycardia like that? You have hypotension as well as bradycardia. So understand that what happens in simplest form, if we try to understand, majority of the sympathetic fibers uh, originate from the spinal segment of from T1 to T5, thoracic 1 to 5, and they reach uh, or leave the spinal cord up to level of L2. So majority of the fiber leads to this. So if the injury is above the T6 level, majority of the sympathetic uh, fibers uh, control is lost. They are cut off. So they are not able to control the heart rate, means they cannot cause tachycardia. They are not able to control the vascular tone of the blood vessels. There is a vasodilatation. So why it is happens? Because now, because the sympathetic activity or sympathetic fibers are cut off and they are now overtaken by the parasympathetic system. So in parasympathetic system, we will have bradycardia, we will have vasodilatation and we will have hypotension because of that. So that's why the patient can, patient will have neurogenic shock. So that's why we call it is a neurogenic shock if the spinal cord injury is above the level of T6. So we'll, you will find bradycardia because of the unopposed parasympathetic system. You will have a vasodilatation. So that's why even if the patient is in shock, you will find the skin warm. You will when test the patient, there, is, there will be warm skin, not the cold calm skin. So bradycardia, warm skin and because the vascular tone is unopposed uh, uh, because of the unopposed uh, parasympathetic system there will be vasodilatation it will cause fall in the blood pressure so that's why the patient is, is will have hypotension so neurogenic shock in spinal cord injury above the level of t6 bradycardia uh, warm skin and hypotension so uh, this everybody should know and we should all read more about it thank you